Okay, welcome to this guide how to land any airplane equipped with ILS landing system on any airplane any airport equipped with ILS landing system. So I am at the moment having an approach on the Phoenix Airport which has initials um, KPHX. Um, I'm going to land on runway 08 uh, which is having an ILS code of 111.75. I'm going to explain you how you could find your ILS code which is um, go to your card and it should come up with this window. You can see uh, the black uh, airplane which is you. Yes, yes, that's you. Um, so, you're going to the airport you would like to. In this case, it is Phoenix. Um, then it should come up with this. Zoom in a bit and choose the right run runway you want to land on. Well, I'm going to land on 08, which should be this one. Yes. 08, ILS code 111.75. Uh, remind this code, write it down, uh, carve it in your little brother. I don't know what. Just make sure your mind is. Go back to your uh, plane and uh, find the radio stack, which can be found uh, in at the nav navigation panel. Uh, go to nav1 and put in 111.75, which is the ILS code of runway 08. Um, it should be in the left case. Uh, if it's not that, just to push the button and it should change the case. Um, okay. Okay, uh, that's very good. Uh, GPS settings, not necessary. I'm flying on free own navigation, but it's quite useful. Um, as you can see, this is the airport uh, KPHX, and I want to land on this airplane. Airport. Um, the blue stripes, blue circles are airspace. Uh, you should be in this airspace if you want to make an ILS landing and to activate your ILS code. So, uh, about few mm, well mm, how, half a minute I should be inside the airspace and I would be able to uh, commence the approach uh, currently current uh, autopilot settings are on 220 knots an hour heading 078 and a current altitude of 3200 let's see how this is going to move inside airspace and let's see if we are already there uh, three two one we entered airspace I should be able to put on the ILS approach and it should catch the glide slope itself I'm on the right altitude and I think I should put on the approach so go to your autopilot settings and put on approach uh, turn off the heading or it well it autom automatically turns it off and your oh your airplane should turn and line itself up with the runway uh, your approach button sh should be uh, glowing right now uh, Okay, extend landing gear, extend flaps, uh, whatever you want to make a good approach. I'll put auto brake on too. Um, your heading you can you don't care anymore, so forget the heading. Get the right speed. In this case, is one eight zero for the Boeing seven four seven. This is my airplane. Let's see. Uh, yep, this is it. And uh, I'm flying at the moment. I'm approaching KPHX, which is which is Phoenix Airport. Um, okay, my autopilot should line itself up with the runway and make a nice smooth landing. Zero eight ILS code is one 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 point seven, which I put in the nav one box, left box. So, glide slope is at 3200, um, which I just caught. I'm descending or adjusting. Oh. Go to speed 180, 180, 190 even. I'll adjust some flaps. Anyway, how you like it, I don't care. Um, flaps at 20 degrees, auto brakes on, approach on, and it should land itself. 
The red cross is me, and this is the airport I want to land on. Uh, I'm going to make the approach totally automatically, so I can sit back and watch the screen. As you can see, I did not catch I did not catch the glide slope yet. Um, the glide slope is the um, automatically descending turn towards the runway. Well, as you can see, I'm still on uh, 3,200 uh, feet, and actually, uh, it should go down itself uh, automatically. Which is by now, within now and a f few minutes. Okay, I think I just caught the glide slope because my altitude is... Uh, uh, let's see. Yep, I, catched, I caught it. Uh, you can see my altitude is going down um, by right now, and the hold, the altitude hold, should uh, toggle off. As you can see, my altitude is going down, so I extend some more flaps for final approach. Uh, adjust speed to 165 or any speed you want, just to make sure you got the right speed. Well, it now should look like this. I'm doing strictly nothing, and I'll just, I'm just waiting for the airplane to land and then I'm almost finished please make sure you got the right ILS set settings and not the uh, wrong one you don't want to land on the wrong airport or even wrong um, runway okay very good this is how it should look like and I'm going to have fun with this. Full flaps, full spoilers in a few moments. Arm, arm the spoilers for the moment. And I'm going to show how to land this beast. Oh, we got some traffic. Uh, let's see if it's going no it's okay he's taking off okay now your airplane almost touches the runway at right speed right heading uh, right altitude um, the airplane should uh, land itself uh, you don't have to do anything as you can see I'm talking hands free uh, I'm having a beer it's very good Okay, when you touch the ground, you have to make your own choices. Uh, rather, you land it safely with yourself or not. As you can see, it is landing. I'll turn off the autopilot in a few moments. Baboom! Landed. Okay, brake or do whatever you want to turn off the, the speed. Okay that was it uh, extending spoilers eventually fill flaps um, rear gas and brake well currently current speed 60 knots 50 40 30 20 and we landed a Boeing safely on a runway okay this is it um, yeah it's very simple just so to make sure uh, ILS code in the right nav 1 uh, right line up with the runway right speed right heading right altitude uh, extend flaps extend brakes uh, anything spoilers landing gear as you wish and make your way to the runway have a nice day have a nice flight have a nice life bye bye this was more effect